What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Sure, I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Going over Nev Campbell and Sidney Prescott for one final time. Yes, this will be one of the final videos I do if not the final video I do on Sydney Prescott and the Nev Campbell aspect related to Scream 6 uh, prior to it releasing, which is nearing the four week mark beginning this Thursday. If you live in the States and you have your tickets going on sale this Wednesday. So just to get into the topics of what I want to talk about, Sydney Prescott, we know will not be returning in Scream 6 because Nev Campbell was offered something that she felt wasn't a great value in respect to her importance to the franchise. Some of you who listen to me are also aware that I knew this before Nev even start even stated it in an official statement i just never made a video on it because that was a very negative topic to discuss at the time and i just wanted to let things play out and let these things come from people like nev who made a shocking statement that i didn't think she would make i was actually shocked when she started mentioning that conventions even prior to making the statement though to be honest nevertheless Radio Silence has stated also very recently that her absence has greatly impacted the story, although a lot can be said in the media in order to just play nice with the higher ups, a.k.a. the ones writing the checks, which in this case would be Spyglass. So I'm going to pref preface this next bit by saying that we know Scream 6 was written prior to Scream 5 even releasing. So it wouldn't be hard to then believe that Guy and James have also probably either outlined a seventh movie and now actively are writing the script for it or probably have already finished the seventh script as well. Why does any of that matter? Well, recently, Nick, who runs Scream Trilogy, a very dedicated and tremendous site for all Scream fans who should go check that out. Uh, put out a series of tweets recently and thank you for the recent shout out by the way I really appreciate that the most important tweet in this thread that I want to address is the tweet that Nick put out that says I can say with 100% confidence that once her deal fell through the plan was to absolutely get her back for Scream 7 now why would they be okay with her walking from six but want her back for seven that's easy the role of Sydney was greatly reduced in Scream 6 much like how I I know that I was tipped off about Nev not participating in Scream 6 due to pay, I was also tipped off about her alleged role in the movie, which is why I don't care that she's not back because this role sounds absolutely terrible to me and so unlike Sydney. So I'm going to talk about that role in this video. Admittedly, I do trust that it would have probably played out better on screen because there might be missing context for sure. I'm not the only one who was tipped off about this role, though. Nick, over again at Scream Trilogy, was tipped off about this role as well. Sydney's role in Scream 6 would have seen her show up at the very end of the movie once more like she did in Scream 5, but this time it's to save Sam and Tara because she views them as family now. Now, what's wrong with that? To the viewer that does not care how Sydney is written and just is desperate to have Sydney served on a silver platter with little to no seasoning, of course, they see nothing wrong with that. Of course, they see nothing wrong with that. To the ones who just want to see Sydney, don't really care how she's written, it's her franchise, she needs to be in it, that crowd. The ones who really don't care about the overall context, maybe of how she's written, of course, they don't see anything wrong with that. To me, what's wrong is Sydney shouldn't be turned into someone who just randomly thrusts herself into these sprees when she's worked so hard to earn that piece we saw her chasing and ultimately escape and receive kind of in a way in Scream 3 when she capped it off. Uh, but then she ultimately returned again in Scream 4 to cap it off in an even better way with a book titled Out of Darkness, a symbol that her story is over and that her arc has just been finished. What she did in Scream 5 showing up as a last minute save that was a special case she did that for dewey because he again was a special case five also does a wonderful job justifying her significance to the story while also letting you know it's not about her anymore it's about sam tara and these new group of kids that are tied to billy loomis um but five did a great job at establishing sydney's significance to the story during Sid and Dewey's fir very first phone call in that movie, which ultimately makes her appearance in the movie later on that much more rewarding and satisfying. They're planting the seeds and do a great job at bu building and working their way up to it. And it's a justified one and done, I would say. The worst part of this, apparently, is Spyglass allegedly wanted Nev back for six when she was never part of the plans for six to begin with. But wait, reports came out that there were plans for Sydney. Yeah, those plans came after Spyglass again allegedly pushed for her involvement in a script that we know was already written prior to five releasing. My problem there is I believe Guy and Jamie both know what they want to do with Sydney and wanted six to be a break for her before she returns as the co-lead with Sam and Tara for screen 
Supreme Seven. If not the co lead, she's going to be shift. We're going to shift the focus back to her, and Sam and Tara would be dropping to the co leads. I think that they understand how important Sydney is. I think they understand her arc and didn't want to use her in nostalgic cameos. But Spyglass said, nah put her in there and then they botched the negotiations to secure her i believe this is true because of course radio silence isn't going to come out and just shit on anyone responsible for writing checks or working on the project period that's just not going to happen so of course you'll get remarks like oh it impacted the story greatly to not have sydney present i mean the way filming started with little to no issue would indicate differently to me Almost as if a sydney list draft was ready to go because that was the original one anyway. That's why if you follow me on Twitter and I seem to not care about Sydney not appearing in Scream 6, that's because I'm kind of glad she isn't if this is what was going to happen. Sydney Prescott is either the focus, co-focus, or you leave her the fuck alone and let the new cast shine. How she's used means so much to me, and I think 6 could have just ended up being her work's weakest showcase and that just doesn't sit well with me. The last minute inclusion would also explain why Nev Campbell probably felt the need to ask them for more money. Because it's like, hey, you want to add me in here last minute, then pay me what I want or I'm out. And I'll say good on her for that if that is what her mindset was. Sit this one out and come back in appropriate fashion for Scream 7 when that happens next. That really legitimately seems as though that is what happened. That is probably what ended up happening. The fact that not only I was told about this, but a well-known fan site uh, that has been around much longer than me scream trilogy who probably has a lot more better connections than me knew about this as well makes me even more confident that that is what was going to be the usage of sydney in scream six another baked cameo but what well not it's not a cameo in this case i would say it's a glorified watered down version of her more prominent usage in screen five because just showing up because you care about sam and tara now but with no real establishments prior to that appearance i i just think it's terrible usage of her i'm sorry you need to use her as the lead she needs to be the co-focus and be right there in the thick of things with them the narrative needs to be tied to her in some fashion too because if the killers have nothing to do with sydney and she's just here that again is not how I, how i think that character should be used i think she should be used the same way we've always seen her used in the past you either ask have her as the focus at the center of it with the killer targeting her and have any motive connected to her or just let her go off into the sunset and admit that her story is finished because using her like this is just not acceptable it's not and if you think that just throwing her in there just because she's sydney prescott is how to use the character no that's not that's very terrible thinking <laughs> let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video